fishing. The lagoon opened up 1974, and uh, I was the first boat to launch other than the patrol boat. Second in line behind the lifeguard. Yeah, there was a sailboat here though. Really? Yeah, little sailboat. Wow. But I don't call that a boat. <laughs> they were fish that were brought in from the Van Norman Dam after the earthquake, trucked in when they were draining it. My father and a couple of guys that were bass fishermen that worked for Water and Power, well, they put them in trash containers and brought them up here real quick and let them go. So I know we, we got a good start on, on our fish here at this lake. And I, I like the atmosphere here. That's why I like coming here. I always got to dip my net in for good luck. And then I always uh, take a short cast. Because if I catch one on my first cast, I won't get bit the rest of the day. Um, I got the name Swimbait 24-7 uh, probably 20 years ago from Kenny Huddleston who told me that someday I might be very popular at bass fishing. And uh, I thought of the name Swimbait 24-7 because I, I just think it looks good and it's, it's what I do. When they asked me what I wanted when I showed them the videos and stuff, you know, the money part of it, I told them I just wanted you guys to make a video. And, you know, but they they made a better offer and had, I think, three or four years of footage before anybody really ever knew what was going on. Because I didn't even know how to turn on a computer, you know. My daughter had to show, when somebody told me my video was on, on the computer, I. She, she had to hook it up for me to show me what it was. Like two years after the lake had opened and they were getting those trout stocks, um, you know, I was getting four, five, six pound fish, but one day I came up and I was throwing this old school, it's called a Shannon's Twin Spin with a pork rind on the back. This big bass followed it in right in there and I was like, oh my God. And I stopped and it fluttered down and he went, <laughs> slurped it up. And that was the first 10 pounder I got out of here. And that was only two years after they opened. But uh, we've had them here, I've seen them. But you know, landing them and getting them to bite, that's a whole nother deal. But I've seen the world record in here a couple of times. I used to work for a welder on Wilbur in the San Fernando Valley coming down the street one day and I was still in high school and I had my mini truck and I saw this boat for sale that was in a guy's yard. It was all covered up, had a for sale sign on it, $400 and I stopped and I, I went and I talked to the guy for a bit and he told me that he's had the boat since it was new. It's a 1966 Alumacraft. I told him that I wanted to buy his boat. He told me one thing, he said, this is my baby and I hate getting rid of it, but I'm getting too old to go up to the mountain lakes and stuff with it, you know, just take care of it for me. And I did, I promised him I'd take care of it for him. And I'm 63 years old now. So I've had this boat for 45 years or more and it's taken care of and it's a fishing machine and it's probably caught more double digit bass than any boat around that exists. Back in the day you were like like a unicorn to all the bass fishermen, you know, that you you know, you fish big baits, you know. And then I never thought it would evolve into what it's become. But Swimgate Underground was they were at the beginning and it was to have a 19 pound bass on videotape, when I looked at their site, they had that cast and catch uh, right there on their website. 
as this is what it's all about. That to me was an honor. And then to realize that this whole swim bait game, it's, it's becoming popular. And I've, you know, I've watched that website just grow and grow and grow. And it's pretty much the last man standing. It's a well-run machine and I'm proud to be part of them, you know, and that they acknowledge what I do as a swim baiter. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's pretty cool. When you connect and everything lines up and you're on it, you're gonna catch big bass, you know, trophy bass. That is gonna happen. I know for a fact that if you throw swim baits all year, and you compare yourself to the average tournament guys, at the end of the year, you will have less bites, but you, and you will have less fish, but you will have definitely much, much bigger fish. And to me, that, uh, that's what I'm looking for. I wanna go out and go, go for broke, you know, and I'll do it.